Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the Bitcoin chart today and towards the end of the video I'm going to ask you a question about Ethereum whether you'd like to see that. So starting off though with the star of the show, the love of my life, Mrs. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> where we put the we put agendas well we've, we've just put agendas what mrs bitcoin uh uh here we are with bitcoin obviously yesterday i was saying to that i was literally just going to short and chill what does that mean it kind of means exactly what it says in the tin short and chill short bitcoin and absolutely relax uh this is the type of time frame this is the type of uh environment this is the type of asset to to really stick to the plan. You know, yesterday when we were, you know, it was during a live stream, the title of the video literally was short and chill. And we were obviously in this section of the chart where we we're just basically consolidating here. OK, and you can see how easy it could be to potentially not stick to your plan and end up losing money. Obviously, I was trading my short from fifty seven thousand dollars, trading it to the range low at fifty three thousand dollars okay that was my plan that is what i was trading for my short which i took at 57 compounded it when we lost 56 and taking it down ultimately to 53 and we were in this section of the chart where i had said i had taken my first take profit and we were on this section of the you know we were actually rising up here okay we were seeing a rise in price and you, i just i'm not doing this i'm just saying like this is why you have to make the plan and then stick to the plan because you can kind of see in this environment, which is designed to, you know, essentially chop up newer traders. I, I believe sideways ranges like this, newer traders especially are losing a lot of money because they are seeing moves down and then it gets this quick move back up. And then suddenly they're going to be entering their longs at the highs or closing their shorts too early. OK, and because it's it's not a simple case of just like down to the target, back up to the target, it's like this down up, down up, down up. It's a still a simple trend, but at the end of the day, each upwards move, everybody gets really bullish again. Each downwards move, everybody gets really fearful again. And this is why it's just so important to make that plan and stick to the plan. And I think that's one thing, if you ever, if you've noticed, the one thing that you'll get from this channel is once I've made my plans, I stick to my plan. You don't see me getting, you know, faked out by a move. You don't see me, you know, you just kind of see me making a plan and sticking to my plan. Of course, I'm going to react if it doesn't seem like it's working, but I'm pretty good at recognizing that. No, like it's not that often that I'll give you pretty clear instructions for it to fail. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, this short did work out again as we went down uh, last night to just below $53,000, obviously taking out quite a lot of the lows here. Uh, you actually see where this bounced off of yesterday as well. You obviously, when you take your fibs from the high to the low, come back up into the CC where you can obviously compound those shorts <laughs> and, uh, you know, ultimately take it down to the range low. So the thing is, we have just hit the range low. Yeah, we're, we're bouncing around it now, currently $53,470. So we are down and around this range low right now. Um, uh, personally, um, I did take a long this morning. Yeah, I did take a long this morning and I, I closed it out when we come towards the highs and I actually went back into a short position. I recognize I'm, I might be playing with fire here, uh, but, you know, it was quite an easy one. We basically come up, we took back up into the highs, we come back down below. And this whole this whole rise was actually on declining open interest. It was like a really weak bounce to the upside. Yeah. So when you see weak bounces, you know, you kind of it wasn't a perfect swing failure pattern, but you get some you get some trap traders above the high. You you basically just trading along with what the market's telling, you know, and although it's kind of uh, kind of we can say this is a weak bounce again, I've taken profit one on that because we really simply just came into the CC, which is enough for me to take profit one. And then really simply from here, um, it's not going to be like a simple case of just sitting on the short for the rest of the day now, because we obviously are reaching areas of support. So you've got to be, you know, either. Uh, I suppose two options really that would stick out in my mind. Um, number one is just hold on to the short positions right now. Uh, hold on to the shorts until we really, I would say, uh, the, the really key resistance in this range is 55,500 now. Okay. So if we can reclaim 55,500, we could look back up to 57,000, mean the, the top of the range. Alternatively here, you want to either see this bit of a absorption going on at the lows. Okay. That's kind of what I would want to see. To be honest with you, uh, some sort of bullish divergence is forming, which you just don't have right now. Obviously, I think it's a nice take profit on the on the short because we're you know we're at the CC doesn't hurt to take profits here. Uh, we're edging back down towards fifty three k again. 
you could argue this is somewhat of a descending triangle. Uh, generally breaks to the downsides. Yeah, generally breaks to the downsides. For, for me, there's just a few reasons to be cautious here. I'm really comfortable holding on to... Um, my, my, I'm still actually in this short. Of, of course... I've taken now profit two on it, but I actually managed to get into a day, day trade short again this morning. So I'm pretty comfortable with my shorts. They are all in profits. And um, yeah, for, for me, there's just actually no reason to to switch into another long yet. Yeah, we had the we had a pretty decent one last night. If you had the alarms going off because of the fact we hit 53K for the first time, we took the lows, we got back above the level. And then from that, we come back and swing further pan the high. Like this is a pretty good time to switch back into the shorts. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's not like I'm not trying to be like cleverer than the market. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm just kind of trading the charts. Yeah, I took my short. You know, I've traded this long and short. So, you know, you have to remember, I've traded this both sides of the market, took my longs here, <laughs> took my shorts back up here, took a short back up here and took a long down here this morning, took my short back up here uh, this morning as well. And this was this was late last night. I suppose this was more this morning. And so I'm, I'm happy to switch this back into a long again. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to switch this back into a long. But, you know, I just don't have this was a weak bounce and uh, we come back down into the low again. So I either want to see some absorption happening here. It's, it's probably my number one scenario, I suppose, <laughs> or at least a little bit of volume in, you know, coming in for the buyers on or when they try and step this back up because it just didn't happen on that last bounce off, off the CC. Yeah? We, we bounced off the CC here, but it's a really weak, weak bounce. Uh, we come back down below the low again. So I think this is like one of the steps where personally, I'm very, very, very comfortable to just hold that short. And um, how would I switch this into a long? Well, Really, I'd have to see some buyers stepping in, which they're just not doing at the moment. Yeah. So if, if the buyers aren't stepping in, why why would I bother stepping in? And I'm just not going to do it when I also, yeah, I'm just not going to do it basically. So um, <laughs> this is kind of my game plan. Really, really, really simple. No. Um, well, it's simple if you understand <laughs> how to read volume. Um, you know, but that is my game plan. So I, I have two shorts right now. I still hold my short from average price 50, 56k. Uh, have another short from this morning which was around 54,600. And I'm debating to, I will debate to close that day trade short and switch that day trade into a long if we can get some buyers stepping up here. Obviously, I recognize we're at the CC around 53K again. I just don't have it as we speak. Yeah, I just don't have that as we speak, but that can potentially change in 15, 20 minutes. You know, it takes, you know, <laughs> it can change. I'm not I'm like stuck to the what I say in the video. I just say, so obviously, I know. Um, so yeah, that, that's really my game plan on Bitcoin. I don't think it's so difficult. No, it's it's pretty pretty simple in that regards. Um, obviously, I did say I want to end with something on Ethereum, and I'm debating to go through ETH. Um, I might do it in its own video. What what I'll say is uh, how long have we been going? Eight minutes. Yeah, I won't go through ETH. If if you would like to see me cover Ethereum, give a like to the video down below, and if this gets 500 likes, I'll do a video dedicated to Ethereum. Obviously, I'm long on this right now. Um, See, so, yeah, I'm long on ETH, and if you'd like a video dedicated to it, I'll be happy to do that. And also, for the second thing, I am back on Twitter. So if you want to give us a follow on Twitter, I've been posting a little bit recently of, well, tweets. <laughs> so obviously, giving an update this morning that I was still in that short. And from here, we headed down another $500. So yeah, if you want to give us a follow back over on, on Twitter, we are back over there now. If you want to see Ethereum update, then give a like to the video, 500 likes, and I'll do an Ethereum update. And um, you know how you know what I'm looking for on Bitcoin. Currently, I'm still in my swing and day trade shorts, and I'm looking. Yeah, for me, this is an interesting area to switch into a long on Bitcoin. Obviously, you look for longs at support, and we're, we're basically at support. So I'm interested in a long, but I would just like to see that initial uh, buyer stepping in, really. I'm really looking for the buyers to step in. That, for me, would be good enough to close my day trade short and switch it into a day trade long okay i'm not gonna be so keen on closing that swing yet basically but I'm, I'm, i'll definitely do that on the day trade so that, that's pretty simple now uh if you want to see ethereum like the video <clears throat> smash up the likes to 500 i'll do one and give us a follow over on twitter if you're interested in that as i'm dying right now <laughs> oh man 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 uh obviously i've got to end with the disclaimer and that is this beautiful disclaimer that we have written. And this is the trade legal disclaimer. No financial advice, of course. We're just giving entertainment, educational videos only. And um, yeah, you can pause and read that disclaimer. For everyone else, thank you ever so much. And have an absolutely brilliant day. And like, like, like we're saying here, you can get into these positions when you have a plan. 
get, you know, mark out your levels. You're going to have to wait for a step of confirmation on the entry. But then once you've got your entry, relax. You know, you've got your entry, you've got your target and don't get don't get faked out because I hate to think how many people got faked out on this move to the upside, which was also really weak, only for it to just head back down to the lower of the range. You know, just make the plan, stick to the plan. Make money. <laughs> make money. That's the name of the game. And that's me signing out. Thank you ever so much, everyone. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.